Oh, it's fully frozen. The disc won't come out. This is not good. I like computers a lot. I pretty much always have three at my desks, and that's not to mention the smartphones, VR headsets, tablets, and other computing devices I have throughout the apartment. I spend a huge amount of time on these devices, and I'm pretty much always connected to what's going on in the world, my friends via social media, but this week, all that's gonna change. This is the 1999 iMac G3, and this week, it's gonna be my only computer. I've already put away my laptops and my desktop, and I'm gonna be disabling everything by calling and texting on my cell phone, so I will truly be disconnected. But first, gotta set it up with a little help from someone from IT. So basically, um, I got this, this here, iMac G3 from 1999, and this is gonna be my only computer for the next like we currently, I can only load like HTML1 sites. So I've been to google.com, the HTML version. Yeah, man, if you want to get anything done this week, you're going to have to go up to OXX. You're not going to, you're not going to get anything done on OX9. Yeah, you're going to need a CD. All right. It's not going to boot off of your USB drive. I'm going to be honest, it felt kind of good putting a disc in. <laughs> I haven't done that in a really long time. Bad news, um, I put a disc into this computer and now it won't read it and the disc won't come out. <laughs> I think I got it. Got it out. Look at this! After eight hours, I finally have it running on OS X. At least we have it in a point where you can Maybe get on the internet. Good luck with that. <laughs> it was weird waking up this morning and not just like checking my phone because that's what I would do in the morning. Well, I did check it and I had no notifications because I turned off everything. <laughs> Today, I am going to try and start actually working on this thing. Maybe I should just see how the internet works. Let's see if Google Maps works. Quest? That's not functioning. How about BuzzFeed? Reddit? Will this work? How about my email? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god! So I can get my email on here. I think I'm just gonna have to learn to be more patient this week. Oh, it's fully frozen. Just trying to load Slack has basically brought this computer to a standstill. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna send out an email to all of the people that I talk to on Slack and say, Dearest colleagues, I am writing to inform you that I have time traveled backwards 20 years. I have to make a thumbnail for a video that's going up this weekend. I've installed Photoshop CS1 on this computer right here. I'm gonna try opening this PSD. Oh my god, reading Photoshop format. It's actually loaded all of this content. This is a 20 year old version of Photoshop and the document fully loaded without any problems. Why am I paying for Creative Cloud? <laughs> Let's try putting in some photos into this. Okay, like this is a bit slow, but it's like, it is perfectly usable. All right, I will send this out. We'll see if anyone can tell that it wasn't made in a modern version of Photoshop. So it's day three, and at this point, I've actually established a bit of a routine. I turn the computer on and then I go make myself a cup of tea. I sit down, I check my email, I send some messages, I respond to some messages. Then I do a bit of Photoshop work and some miscellaneous other work. It takes a while to do that, so at this point a couple hours have passed. And honestly, aside from not being able to check Slack, like my day is relatively normal, full of the same tasks as I'd be doing, just slower. The one big exception here though, is that so far this week I haven't had to edit any videos. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> So I asked some of my friends and coworkers to send me pictures for desktop wallpapers, and I only got one. That's gonna get me through this. 
I'm trying to Photoshop something, but it's just so bright. I'm not gonna get anything done like this with the sun. Ah. Usually in a situation like this, I would just take my laptop and I'd go work on the couch. Or if I'm working on my desktop, my screens are actually bright enough that I can still see them, but I cannot see what's on the screen. It's too dim. The sun has gone down so I can actually work. I'm a productive person, I promise. Don't fire me. I realize that doing this, I actually like don't know what's going on in the world. So I'm gonna do something I don't think I've ever done before. I'm gonna buy a newspaper. Apparently there's a presidential debate tonight. You should probably have known that. I have a meeting in 15 minutes that I kinda need to see the screen for, because um, they're gonna be sharing a presentation. I don't know how I'm gonna join that. I don't think I can. Let's see. Meet doesn't work on your browser. I might have to have someone send me the slides afterwards. If I can't figure out how to join this meeting, I'm actually gonna be in big trouble. I don't wanna get fired. Like, this is not good. Thank God Mike sent me these phone numbers beforehand. It's weird not being able to see your faces. I'm not, I don't usually join a call like this, but my circumstances of using this old computer for the week call, call for it. Uh, if one of you could just send me the slides, that would be amazing. Thank you so much. No, I really appreciate it. Thank you. That actually went all right. I appreciate working somewhere where people are understanding the stupid things that I'm doing. I have a little break now, which means I can get to the real reason I bought the newspaper. The crossword. What can I say? I gotta have something to do in here. Spending the day in a bookstore. Cause that's a fun thing to do and you don't need the internet for it. At the bookstore earlier, I decided to buy this copy of Ratatouille so that I could see if I could watch it on this computer. I've been craving watching a movie. Why not watch Ratatouille? <laughs> I love Ratatouille. That was honestly not so bad watching a movie like that. Like, I guess I was a little uncomfortable just sitting in my chair, but like, not so bad. For the first time in a really long time, I stayed up until like three in the morning reading last night, which was kind of nice. I haven't gotten that engrossed in a book in a while, and I think that has something to do with the fact that I have other things to distract me. It's actually been relatively easy to find things to do on the weekends, because on the weekdays, usually after I'm done work, I kind of just want to relax and veg out. But on the weekends, I want to do stuff, and so I find it a lot easier to not be on my computer or be on my phone because I have other things going on, like making hot apple cider, which has been really nice. I read a lot today, I played some music, I walked around, I went thrift shopping. Overall, pretty good day, and I haven't touched TikTok once. Today is the day I've been dreading, because today is the day that I have to edit a video on it. Not a whole video, but I have to do a little bit of editing. So I tried installing a bunch of different versions of Final Cut, a few versions of Premiere, even some Avid versions. Couldn't get any of them working, but I finally got a version of iMovie working. It's a video editing software. Let's try that clip. I could have predicted this. One single clip is larger than iMovie supports. Thankfully, I did prepare for this eventuality, and I actually filmed some footage and converted it last week to something that this computer may be able to handle. Just to see if I can physically edit on this. Oh, gorgeous. It's a bit slow, but it is working. I won't make you sit here and watch me edit. Enjoy the final product. So I am finally free of my best friend for the past week. 
I'm really happy to be done, but I'm also really glad that I did this. I thought I was gonna have difficulty disconnecting from social media, finding things to do in my free time, but those actually didn't really turn out to be problems. What turned out to be a problem was not being able to do my job. Technology and computers have gotten a lot better in the last 20 years, and I think we kind of take that for granted. Really though, this week reminded me how much time I do spend on my phone. And I think that going forward, I'm just gonna have to be more aware of how I'm using my devices and strike a new balance of how much I'm using them. But now, I'm gonna check Instagram for the first time in a week for notifications. <laughs>